There is a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. There is a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I am so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my H-E-A-R-T. I am so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Samuel Ajo Victor is my name. Welcome to this episode of Life Series. We have been looking at the fruit of the Holy Spirit and we have been taken through a very wonderful introduction and we have even delved into love as a fruit of the Spirit and today we are going to look at joy. Well, I really love this spirit because there is just something about joy that gets me moving and just makes me so wonderful and happy. Well, one song I used to sing when I was in Sunday school is this, Righteousness, Peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That is the kingdom of God. What I learned is that joy is not an earthly attribute. Joy is a heavenly attribute. Just like righteousness, just like peace, joy is not an earthly attribute. It's not something you can do on your own because joy transcends what you are feeling at the moment. Joy is a result of God's presence being somewhere. David says this, that in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy, which means child of God. No matter what you're going through, as long as you are aware of the presence of God, joy ought to be the outcome, not the result of what he's going to do, but just his presence is supposed to produce joy in you. Again, scripture says, the joy of the Lord is my strength join me in believing this that to the end of the year we our strength will not come from what we want to be done our strength will not come from what we had purposed in january but the joy of the lord is our strength and once you have this joy in you then you will understand that happiness is something that is continuous and perpetual. Paul says rejoice and again I say rejoice. It is something that is progressive today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Why? Because it is not your own doing. It is the presence of God and just like I was taught in Sunday school, I am so happy, so very happy because I have the love of Christ in my heart and Christ dwells in my heart through faith, Paul says, so I have joy in my heart not because everything is going okay not because everything is not going okay also but because christ dwells in my heart so you too if christ dwells in your heart you have joy you have joy if christ doesn't dwell in your heart then you are a candidate of joy thank you god loves you let's have a joyful day joyful time and a joyful rest of the year. Barikiwa sana.